What's up, people? I figured I'd catch you guys up on my mini soap boxes because I haven't been on this thing. I've been so busy with work and events and 500 other things that I have to do, minus the fact that our phone systems suck. So they go down like every day of my life. But anyways, I do have some cool things to tell you about some stuff coming up, but I have some really cool stories to tell you from this weekend. I, I don't get to hop on here and tell you guys, but you know, my matching pink with my yellow, super cute for today. Anyways, here's the funny story, okay? Cause it's kind of funny. So anyways, Friday night, long story short. So we have to go down to get, make sure that everything, I'm sorry, this is Saturday night. Make sure that everything's in line for Festival of the Speed, which is in St. Petersburg. Me and John, we live in Lando Lakes. That's like, I don't know, an hour drive, right? So Saturday we do our, you know, take Peter to his game and do our thing that we need to do. This has been such a long weekend, oh my God. But anyways, I just wanted to insert that comment. So I go down there. So we had to get the vehicle there by seven o'clock, okay? And me and John, I was gonna take the Hummer. We're gonna take the Corvette. We're just gonna drive down there together and, you know, park at the hotel, spend the night so we can wake up there on Sunday and then we're good to go, we're there. So I, John had asked me earlier in the day, this is when we were getting ready to take Peter to his game. He goes, babe, we should just go ahead and spend the night out there, you know, and we should, we should probably go out there early so we're there and we could just make sure the car gets there by seven o'clock. Now this is Saturday. The car needs to be inside of the parking, like the parking area, which is like the park, Vanoy Park, has to be inside, parked on the grass by seven o'clock. No later than seven o'clock, they're gonna close down the area. You're not gonna be able to get your vehicle in. Then you'll have to get up at the crack ass dawn the next day, get your vehicle in. That's gonna suck. I'm not waking up early. I'm not a morning person. I'm not getting up early. So I would say 5.30 rolls around and we're like, okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness, it's, it's cutting time. We gotta get the vehicle out there. <laughs> this is funny, okay? So we gotta get the vehicle out there. Run, 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 run. So he's still getting ready and I'm like, dude, it's 10 to six. There's no way I'm gonna make it. I'm like, you gotta let me leave in the Corvette right now. I gotta leave right this very second. And knowing me and my awesome driving skills, I'm gonna make it to St. Pete. <laughs> so I pump it in my GPS and it's like, all right, so it's gonna take you about 50 minutes to get there. I'm like, all right, my timing, it's gonna be 45 minutes, boom, boom, bam, I'm gonna get there, I got this shit on lock. Okay, so I get in there, vroom, vroom, riding over the bridge, boom, boom, boom. Timing is perfect. Couldn't ask for better timing. So I show up over there 20 to seven, 20 to seven. I got to St. Pete from Lando Lakes in 40 minutes. That might be unheard of because it really is like an hour and 10 minute drive. We won't talk about my driving skills, but this is what happens. So I get down there and there's cops everywhere. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And you know, St. Pete's like one of those one way in, one way out kind of places. So I'm looking around and I'm like, okay, so all the roads are blocked off. How am I going to get in there to, you know, put the vehicle inside of the park, right? Because I rushed down here to do that. So come to find out, little do I know, they got a marathon going. Of course they have to have a marathon going in St. Pete, in the middle of downtown St. Pete, when I need to park the Corvette that I just raced all the way down there from Land Lakes in the park. So the cop, I roll on the window and I'm like, hi, sir, you know, <laughs> I need to get through this road right here, right here. Just, I need to just drive down this, drive it down. I have this park and you see the, you see the Corvette, it's wrapped in Titan, we're sponsors. I'm sorry, ma'am, it's gonna be about two hours. I'm like, that's not gonna work for me. So I need to get my vehicle inside there. Sorry, ma'am, it's not gonna work. I'm like, shit, I'm like, what am I gonna do? So of course, you know I'm gonna make shit happen. I gotta like backtrack like five streets, go down some like side street, get into some aquatic area and pull in through their parking lot and go up some sidewalk to get inside this place. I'm like, it's just my luck that I need to get the vehicle in here and John's gonna kill me because I'm the one that said that I didn't wanna go down to St. Pete because I wanted to take a nap, okay? So of course I'm the bad person, but at least I got it in there. And I'm like, I took a picture of when it was parked. And I'm like, look at me, I did it. I told him about the story, obviously, after the fact. But I didn't tell him it was a challenge to get this vehicle in there. I didn't get it in there until 7 10. <laughs> so that was the story for that, okay? 
I know, I did use my lady skills. How do you think I got it in there, Justin? Man, I had my hair down, it was all washed and everything. I took a shower, I was smelling all like soap and stuff, like Dove, all cutesy footsy, nice and clean. So the cops were like, go ahead, you can come on through here. So anyways, that happens. Right after that, we take a shower because I'm freaking disgusting trying to park this vehicle and I don't know how to back up a vehicle. I, I can drive straight, I can't back up. So anyways, long story short, second best story of the night. So we go to dinner in St. Petersburg and it's the same night. I'm like, geez, why does this all have to happen to us? So we go to, we go to dinner. We sit down on this bench. We're sitting down, having a good old time, talking with a couple friends, whatever. Long story short, we get back to the vehicle. We're going to go out for a drink over at this Trist place. Okay. It was like a little local bar or whatever. We're going to have a drink and then go back to the hotel, get some rest. So <laughs> John gets in the Hummer and he's like, babe, where's my phone? I'm like, I don't know. You just had your phone. Babe, you, you saw I had my phone. I'm like, yeah, you had it on the bench. Of course, we're like three blocks away from where the bench is at. So knowing John, he doesn't want to try to go down these two, you know, three minute streets to go do like a, you know, 500 turn to try to get back to the bench. He's like, shit, I'm getting out of the car. I'm going to book it. I'm going to go get my, my phone right now before it disappears. Okay. So our friends come up to us like, she goes into the Hummer. He's like, where'd John go? I'm like, listen, I was like, he just went to go get his, his phone. He probably left it on the bench. I'm like, it's probably sitting there on the bench, right? So he starts coming back. This is like maybe seven or eight minutes later. And I'm like, he's got it, right? He definitely has it, right? <laughs> no, he doesn't have it. So it magically disappears in just a few minutes. I'm like, this is fantastic. No, you're not going to have your phone. And this is going to be a horrible, horrible Sunday of like event-filled, Titan event-filled thing, okay? So I'm like, you know, knowing me, if those of you that do know me out there very well, you guys know, like I have to do things for myself. So of course I could tell, tell our friend, I'm like, James, I go, Hey, take me in your car and take me to the bench right now. I was like, I'm going to go look for myself. John's like, I looked, I looked, I looked, everything's fine. I'm like, no, no, no. I want to look with my eyes. I want to look. So I go over there. Luckily I did go over there because... <laughs> I get over there, I'm looking for this phone, like digging through the, the bench, like by the trash. Like I'm like, this phone has to be here. Please tell me this phone is here. So come to find out by the God-given graces, these two people walk up on the sidewalk and they go, are you looking for a phone? I'm like, hell yeah, I'm looking for a phone. <laughs> so they're like, it's right here. It's, it's right here. This is the phone. And of course, in the phone, John's got his phone driver's license, his credit cards. I mean, the life, the life, the baby life, it's, it's stocked in the phone because it's one of those little wallet phones. So the baby life of his is stocked in the phone. So it's not just losing a phone. Like, okay, fine, I'll just replace it. It's like losing all the credit cards and then having to call all the people to replace all the credit card numbers and all these businesses that you work with. That's a pain in the ass. Having to replace a driver's license, pain in the ass. Having to replace a concealed weapons license, pain in the ass. Nobody wants to do that. So anyways, I reach in my purse and all I have, because I only carry, I don't carry cash on me. I only have maybe like seven to ten dollars in my purse, like cash. So I pull it out and I'm like, here, just take all this money. I'm so happy you found this phone. You have no idea. Thank you so much. And I'm giving these like randoms a hug, you know, and I don't hug anybody. But I'm giving these randoms a hug. I know. It's just I know. It's such a bad I know, Justin. I know. I know. But I mean, damn, like I'm telling you, the coolest things, they happen to us. I mean, because why wouldn't they, right? Like the coolest things. So anyways, this weekend was a great turnout. We did have our wonderful weekend of Festivals of Speed. The Titan Classic was amazing. Our athletes did awesome. We have Europa this weekend. I will say I have not been happy with our, our office because every morning when I wake up, I get a phone call and they say, hey, the internet and the phones are out. And I'm like, Oh my goodness, what's going on? So there must be some sort of like surge going on with the actual outlet, which is amazing. So much fun to deal with in the mornings when you first wake up in the morning and you open your eyes and you don't even get to read a text message or email. You just get a phone call from somebody at the office saying, hey, all the shit's out. Good luck with today and your business. Awesome. What's up, Julie? Hi, what's up, Connie? 
You should, oh my God. Justin, you cannot compare to my soapbox, okay? So listen, here's, okay, I'll tell you one more funny story because it is funny and I did take it a little offensive, okay? So those of you, again, that know me, you know I own a business. I have a nine-year-old. I just came home just now. I saw my clothes on, tight in, and I came home so I can, you know, I, I sat down with him so I can make sure he's reading and he's reading properly and pronunciating everything correctly, stopping at periods and, you know, his commas and pausing for a second. So anyways, I know my lashes are bomb. I have the best lash girl in town, Julie Buck. <laughs> anyways, I had to take a second to say that. So anyways, the, uh, <laughs> oh my God, you guys kill me. So <laughs> we go out on Saturday night for this drink, right? And there's this girl that's at the bar and she's, you know, she's probably, I mean, if I had to guess, she's probably like late thirties, whatever. And you know, I'm super chill at this point because I've had a long ass night. I had to go park a car down 500 streets that I couldn't get down. I had to race down here. I had to pack my bags. I had to wake up at eight o'clock in the morning for my son's game. This was a very long Saturday. So I really, I just wanted to enjoy my Patron Margarita on the rocks with salt. That's all I wanted. So anyways, she wants to be friends at the bar, okay? I don't need any extra friends. But am I not, you know, am I nice? Yeah, I'm nice. Am I cordial? I am. So anyways, but I will tell you, okay? I will not stop for one second. I will tell you how it is. I will not even like filter that, okay? So this girl is sitting at the bar and she's telling me, she's like, yeah, you know, I am like so busy all the time. And I'm like, girl, I totally get it. You know, I'm not even the person to be like, hey, listen, I got this, 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 this. I only get two hours of sleep a night. I got 500 emails. I got 64 text messages. And that's only on one platform. I have a whole another platform with another 28 text messages. We won't talk about those. I keep all that to myself because I'm nice like that, okay? So I'm sitting at the bar and she goes and she's going off about how she's so busy. And then I'm like, yeah, girl, I totally get it. I understand about being busy. She's like, oh no, girl, you wouldn't understand what it's like being busy. Like I'm super busy. I'm like, really? I said, now what are you so busy with that makes you so busy? I wanna know. So do you have any kids? She goes, oh no, I don't have any kids. I'm like, mm. It's like, do you run a business or manage a business? Something like that? No. I'm like, girl, I'm telling you. I know what busy is. If anybody knows what busy is, I know what busy is. So I go start going through my like levels of the day. You know, I'm like, yeah, we have a nine-year-old. I've been married for 11 years. I'm like, we have this business for seven years. I have this many employees. I got eight platforms to check every day. I get to sleep for three hours. This girl... She comes back and tells me, I, I thought I was going to fall over, like fall over the chair and be like, all right, so I'm done drinking my margarita. You can actually, you can have the rest of it. Like just finish my margarita for me. But I was like, it's kind of irritating because she says to me, and not that I have anything against people that, you know, have chill lives, but don't say you're busy or compare yourself to somebody that's busy as hell when you're at home. She tells me, she goes, I'm so busy because I'm at home and I have this house and like the whole house, I have to renovate by myself. I'm like, oh my goodness. I couldn't imagine the pressure. I mean, geez, <laughs> couldn't imagine the pressure. I couldn't imagine the pressure of having to renovate a house on my watch all by myself Versus what I do now. I almost fell over the chair. I thought I was going to choke this girl. I'm like, yeah, I don't think you really understand what it's like to be busy. But sure. Sure you understand what it's like to be busy. Yeah, I, I'm sure that would be so hard. Like renovating a house, you know. And don't forget, she got three dogs. So they're like having kids. I'm like, right. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there, I'm like looking at John and go, <laughs> John, time to go. Like, I can finish my drink in the hotel room. <laughs> Anyways, story of my life. It's great. Um, never a dull moment. Ever, ever, ever in my life, there's never a dull moment. But that's what makes it my awesome life, you know? I, I love what I do. I love my life. We have thousands of patients nationwide. 
there's uh, some sort of dramatic bullshit that happens every day of my life, but it just wouldn't be my exciting life with my high blood pressure and super stressed out all the time if it wasn't my special life. <laughs> I will say though, I did have to tell that girl at the bar, I'm like, eh. I had to break it down for her. I'm like, listen, girl, I'm like, you having three dogs and having to renovate, paint, clean, vacuum, break down tiles in a house. I don't think that's comparable. And there's no more talking after this because there's no like there is no argument here. I'm like really not trying to be mean. I'm just being straightforward and it's kind of like irritating me. But we can be friends. <laughs> Anyways story of my life. I love you guys. I wanted to catch you guys up. I feel like I haven't been on this thing in forever. If I'm not on this week, it's because we have Europa this weekend. It's a huge thing that we got going on in Orlando, Europa Games, and it's going to be a very, very big event that we're putting together, and it's super stressful. And remember, that's on top of my usual day-to-day -day business, okay? So I wanted to make sure I hopped on here, so what's up to you guys? Gave you guys my awesome stories because... I can't make this shit up. Um, and if I could, I'd write a book. <laughs> um, but anyways, I hope everybody is amazing. Tanisha, what's up, girl? I love you too. Angela, I hope you and the hubby are doing great. Um, Matt, you're my homie. Susan, I hope things are going well. What's up, Matt? I'm glad all you guys tuned in. Um, and I just, like I said, I just want to say what's up and give you guys the rundown on my wonderful weekend and how awesome I am at getting a Corvette down a block street, up a sidewalk, and into position right in time. That's what happens when you, when you are a G, you learn how to maneuver these things and you just make it happen because you don't have a choice. You have to make it happen. You don't have an option. You just have to do it. Okay? That's my advice for the night. Make it happen. Get up. Get shit done. I'll see you guys later. Have a great night.